All right, so we have the sphere, and uh, we're going to use a morph to displace it. Uh, first, let's just make a backup of this one. And uh, let's make uh, one we call paint, which we'll use to paint on. And let's make one that we call displace. Now, sometimes um, Lightway will Lightway will delete one of these, and uh, that's because it. Uh, It has the same uh, point position. So, <clears throat> if that happens, what you need to do is, whenever you create a new morph, you need to uh, move it. Um, so move it one meter and move it back one meter, and that will make sure it's saved. Uh, so whenever you encounter that bug, um, that's what you need to do. Okay, so let's we have three one three morphs here. Paint the one we're going to paint on displace, which is uh, which will be the displaced uh, geometry, and uh, backup, which will be our backup. So let's go to paint and let's start to paint on that one, and we'll use a displace. Uh, as a reference and paint and all is well um, but if I want to go back now there's really there's really no way to do it uh, I can't go back to my base mesh the only way to do it is to you would think it would be to choose the base mesh uh, up here but that's not available so you'll have to use that backup we made from the base mesh. Now you can uh, paint and go back. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how you go about it. Um, if you want to add detail, that is possible. You go to the base and uh, uh, choose some polygons and um, subdivide it. Uh, maybe you want to subdivide uh, even more. So let's say Shift to subdivide it. Okay, that worked, so let's take something that doesn't work. Let's take oops, this one, subdivide. <laughs> Sorry, like that, subdivide. Now it doesn't work because it has n guns here. So what you will have to do is to triple it. Now you can subdivide it again. So. Um, once tripled, uh, we can subdivide it and keep on subdividing it as many times as we want, really. And these, um, these will update as well. So our our paint displacement and backup will update. Um, so now we can choose our paint morph and uh, choose the airbrush, uh, choose displace, the one that we displaced and uh, start drawing. So 
so uh, yeah that's pretty much how you can uh, go about it really that's how you displace paint in lightweight